Hey, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jared from 3Cs Recreation. This is our 2022 Beta 200 RR. This is our in-house bike. We're gonna do a full build on this and race this thing. So if you're interested and you have a 200 and you wanna follow along to what we do with this bike, subscribe to our channel and check things out. But for today in this video, we are doing a kickstart kit install. So at the end of the day, we're gonna have this on the outside of the case right here. So if your battery dies while you're deep in the woods, you have a way out. The two strokes are nice. They do not need a 12 volt battery to run. So if the battery does die in this, your kickstart kit can get you out of the woods. If you guys are looking for beta parts, please give us a call. We're Three Seas Recreation, we're in Mabel, New York. Look us up and give us a call. I'll give you discounts on parts. It's a really simple kit to install. We can bring you in closer and show you the kit. So what we have here, this is everything that comes in the kit. We got a new gasket, the gear inside, the new uh, the kick lever itself, and a couple bolts and one, one more gear that will explain where this goes here in a minute. So the first thing that I've already done is we've drained the oil on this and we removed a skid plate. I'm gonna keep the oil bin close and handy because we're gonna need it once I pull this cover off. It's probably gonna drain a little bit more oil down below. But the first thing that I need to do is we are going to remove the exhaust. We're gonna take this off and out of the way and we're gonna loosen the coolant hoses on here. And we're gonna move the uh, rear brake pedal. So we're gonna get these things out of the way so we can pull this cover off easier. All right, so now we got our exhaust out of the way. We got our rear brake out of the way. We can now drain the coolant. And we have a crush washer behind this lower bowl here that that's gonna let us drain the coolant. I just use a bin, we're gonna save it. We're not gonna reuse this coolant because this is gonna be one of our race bikes. We're gonna put a Motul back in it. But we can go ahead and drain the coolant. What I like to do is I like to crack the screw at the bottom. We'll get our container held up. And then at the end, I will crack the cap on top of the radiator and it'll let it flow. But this, this lets you get control of it before you can see how it's not coming out. And then if I reach the other side of the bike, and you might be able to see it on the GoPro, you can see how it's not, yeah, there it is. Now that I've cracked the cap, it's flowing out like crazy. And this was a demo bike with Beta. We just got it a couple weeks ago. Usually it's like a pink coolant. So wherever this bike was demoed, it looks like they've added something of their choice to it. I'm not sure what turned it purple. Maybe they put engine ice in here with it. So it's a good thing. We'll, we'll just discard of this. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna drain this out. Now that our coolant's drained, we'll reinstall the bolt. I don't like to leave these out. I don't even like to leave them loose. So we will reinstall this back in here and we'll keep it tight. Now that our coolant drain bolt has been retightened and torqued down, we can remove this lower coolant hose. We're gonna take this completely off the bike because we're gonna put aftermarket silicone hoses on here. So we're gonna take this coolant pipe right off the bike. We can now remove the upper power valve cover. There's three eight millimeter bolts. We can take this off next. Now that our power valve cover is out of the way, make sure to not to ruin this gasket because they don't give you another one. You wanna make sure that you keep that in good shape. Don't try to pull it out of here yet because it's still being sandwiched between the inner clutch cover and the case. So don't pull up on this little gasket yet. And we need to get this little circlip off of the, the push rod here for the power valve. And how you do that is you take a pick tool and we just slide it on the back side and we catch, catch the end of it. And that one just sprung off and I'm pretty lucky because it's right here. This is what we just pried out of there. So this was wrapped around the power valve and I pulled it out and around and mine, mine came out pretty fast, but this is what we just took out of there. Now that this is out of the way, you want to save this. It's got to go back in. We can pull that push rod right off the side here. And so now this can come off with, with the inner clutch cover, but we just wanna make sure that this doesn't get ripped yet. Let's get this off first. So with that being said, we can now unscrew the outer bolts. And this is where it varies from the beta directions is they, they pretty much only show in the directions and I just read through them just to take this outer clutch cover off, but that doesn't let us get in behind this. They kind of either miss something or they don't show it so let's unscrew this outer cover and take this all off and we're just going to hold it up here as an assembly now that all of our cover bolts are loose it's a great idea to keep your oil drain pan close by because as you can see we have some oil dripping out because even when you drain the oil you don't always get it all 
And so now that it's, you can see it's kind of dribbling out, I'm just gonna rock the cover back and forth. And this one is pretty loose, so that's nice. It's coming off nice and easy. You always have the water pump hose over here that usually holds on a little bit tighter, so watch for that. A little bit more coolant's gonna come out, that's normal. Again, it doesn't always drain whenever you do the drain bolt here. And keep in mind that there's gonna be some centering pins back in here on this inner cover. And you can see there's one that stayed in the bike, it's right here. And the other one stayed in the cover. So both of my centering pins, just make sure you don't lose them. I'm okay with them staying where they are, I don't mind. And this gasket is in really good shape. It didn't rip and it didn't even leave any on the, on the inner cover here. So I'm probably just gonna leave this gasket alone and we'll reuse this gasket. It's gonna be my personal bike. I'm not doing this for a customer. So if it was a customer's bike, I would replace that gasket. But for me, I'm gonna save that gasket. So we'll get this out of the way next. So now we got our clutch cover up and out of the way. I'll just use a bungee cord to hold it up. So it's out of the way. And I keep my drain pan down here again. So what we'll do next is we need to get our clutch out of the way, get the assembly out. In the center here, we'll just pull the throw out bearing, get this right out of the way here. Just kind of pull it right out the center. And so now we can get in here with our 27 millimeter and zing this off. And so I'll show you, we've got our nut, our washer, and on the back side there's a bigger washer as well. So I can pull this whole assembly right off now. What's cool in the 200s is all this stays together. Our clutch springs, pack, everything is all together. So inside of here, I do have that one more bigger washer. And then in the back, I'm holding this. Sometimes this will want to stay on the, the rod, the, the gear case. So I like to try to pull it out as an assembly. When you put it back together, make sure that that slides on there. So this is pretty much it for disassembly. I'm just gonna set these two back inside of here. Now we can start assembling our uh, kickstart kit. We're gonna take the return stop next and we're gonna install this. This kit only uses one bolt because it has a pin in the back here and I just applied blue Loctite to that bolt. So now I can now take this and we'll get it set in its spot up in there. And when I do like the other kits, if you've watched our channel in the past, typically there's two bolts, like two eight millimeter bolts screwing in here, but this one has a nub right there instead. So this gets torqued to 10 Newton meters. So use your torque wrench at home, get that to 10 Newton meters. The next thing we're gonna install is our idler gear and it comes with two washers and the circlip that holds it on. And what we wanna do is we wanna oil all of this before we put it together. So we're gonna start with one washer in the back I have like a little bit of gear oil in this cap. So I'll just put some on each piece. The shaft's already pretty well oiled because it's been, it's been in the engine. And make sure you put this on right, it's offset. You can see in the back side, there's a steeper step on the back. The front is flush. We wanna make sure it goes in like this. If you put it in backwards, it's gonna grind against the case and not spin like it should. So we'll install that. And we'll do the outer washer. And then we got our snap ring pliers. You gotta make sure you hear that click when you put it all the way in. So now I'm gonna listen for it. And it just sit down in, it just sat down in where it's supposed to. Now it spins like it should. We got it installed, which is super cool. We will now install our kickstart shaft assembly. It comes rubber banded together. So try not to uh, get this, you know, try not to let this fall apart. Get these rubber bands off of here. We wanna keep this spring on the back side of this. And this spring is gonna be our return spring for the, for the kickstart lever itself. And it's gonna go in this hole over here in the case. So we're gonna slide this in and you can see this little paw here. This is what's gonna catch that first return uh, block that we put in the back there. So kind of slide it in and then turn it down so it tucks in behind that. So now I can feel I got it in and tucked down around. It's in the, in the groove in the back. And my spring on the front stayed in the shaft like it's supposed to. So now I can spin this all the way around. I 
I usually use a set of pliers at this point. I like to take pliers, I just grab a hold of that and I push it right in. So now our kickstart lever assembly is installed. And it returns like it should. The next thing we have to do is get this plug out of the inner clutch cover. This is where our shaft is going to go through that we just installed. So I'm going to use the same pliers I just had a minute ago. And we'll set these on here. I'm at a weird angle, but we just got to pull this out. First try. And then we just pull push out on that. I thought there was a washer there. We just push out on that. So this is the plug that we are left with. And we are going to tuck this seal on the outside of the cover now. We'll clean it and then we'll tuck this seal up in there. So now that we have everything assembled there, we'll reinstall our clutch. And now this has to line up, or the inside gear has to line up with our new mesh in here. So make sure if you need to spin this a little bit, everything's got to line up together in the back. And make sure that your stack of bearings is still in the back like we talked about before. So we'll set this on here. And get everything lined up like it needs to be. Get all of our shafts to line up. We can spin them by hand in the back to make sure that it's slid on nicely like it should. And we have our same washers, just put them back on. The back one, the front one. And then we need to re-Loctite our nut and re-drive that on. With a clutch reinstalled, we can now put a little bit of grease on this water pipe O-ring. That way it slides together nicely when I put our outer case cover back on. And we're gonna put a little bit of Permatex right here as well. Beta recommends a little bit of gasket maker and this little crease on the 200s. If you guys print the directions off, you'll see where they're showing that. So it's gonna put a little bit of this gasket maker in this area like they show. It must have a little bit of leakage with oil, so they just wanna make sure that there's no problems there. So that'll do that. We need to reinstall our throw out bearing now that we retorqued our nut in the center. We can go ahead now and reinstall our clutch cover. So keep in mind we have two centering pins, one on the bottom and one stayed on the bike on the inside. In our gasket, this one is still in good shape so we're just gonna reuse it. Again, if I was doing a customer's bike, I would put the new one on, but I'm okay with that. I've done a ton of these. The first thing that we should do is set this gasket in here as well. So we're gonna get this close. Start pushing this on. And everything's sliding together really nice. We wanna make sure that this gasket doesn't get left behind. So I'm gonna stick it in here, just kinda of hold it there. Try to get this all to push together. And sometimes you have to work the water pump on the inside. Sometimes it spins a little bit. And so I take like a pick tool and I reach down in here. And I spin that gear just a little bit and I just felt it go in like it needs to. Now I can push this together. And we'll keep that gasket kind of where it needs to be. The Permatex is helping me hold that. So now my clutch cover is back on the outside. It's all pushed in nice and tight. So it's in all the way around. We can now reinstall these bolts. So we'll do that next. We can now get to the most exciting part, which is installing our kick lever. So we can put that up on the top here. 
and be mindful that your exhaust is gonna come up through here. So keep this at a higher angle. If you if you do this and it's down, no, you can't because I guess it hits there anyway. So it's kind of good. It kind of forces you to put it right where it should be. We just have that tapered washer. It's already got a pre locked tighted bolt. So now we can just install this right on the shaft there. And once we get this installed, I'm gonna stop with this kit because we're gonna tear this bike the rest of the way apart. We're deleting the oil injection. We're gonna do a CMCO hose kit. We're gonna do a race wire harness on this bike. So I will not reinstall the hose at this point and fill it with coolant, but let's get this on here next. All right, that wraps up the kickstart kit for us in this video. Again, we're not gonna fill it with coolant. We're not gonna do oil at this point because we are gonna break this bike apart even further. So if you're looking for more Beta 200 videos, stay tuned to our channel. We're gonna do a race wire harness and oil injection delete next. Thanks for watching.